Hello everyone, the Gash is here. Today I want to make a video about aspirin. Is it good, is it bad, or is it ugly? So if you like to watch this video, let's get into it. In my previous video I discussed about the good things and positive effect of the aspirin on coronavirus infection. Also I discussed about the heart attack and stroke. And I thought the best thing is to emphasize and talk more about the good part and the bad part of the aspirin. So if you have to go on aspirin, you have a better and clear mind of, of what you need to expect from this action. So basically, aspirin has lots of good effect, including anti-cancer, anti-inflammation. But the part I want to discuss about is the anti-cloth activity in this video. Back in 1950, unknown doctor in US found that those people who were on aspirin have a lower chance of getting heart attack. And from there, they found out uh, its anti-clot activity. Basically, blood clot happen when the protein called fibrin produce a net. They are like a string. They make a, make a net and then the blood cell and the platelet stick to this net and therefore the blood clot happen. So aspirin, by connecting to the enzyme called COX-1, it inhibit this enzyme and interrupt this activity. By this interruption, the cells and also the platelet become less sticky therefore the blood clot chance reduce so this is a miraculous activity of the aspirin but what is good in this situation can be bad in different situation so what are the side effect of the aspirin the side effect of the aspirin could be stomach irritation a heartburn sometimes negative effect on the liver, kidney, also it's not recommended for the pregnant woman, and if you have gout, because aspirin reduces the absorption of the uric acid from your kidney, it can cause some more trouble for the people with the gout situation. But there's the ugly part of the aspirin as well, and that's what the recent study emphasized about, and that's internal bleeding basically. So if you are in the recent study, they recommend if you are over 70 and you are healthy, you better don't touch aspirin unless your doctor prescribed for you. And if you have any history of the internal bleeding, stomach ulcer, or a small intestine uh, ulcer, you should not touch aspirin unless, again, your doctor uh, prescribed for you. And if you are a high risk person within 40 to 70, you better see the very good cardiologist and with their advice, you go for taking aspirin. And the dosage that they recommend is 81 milligram, one baby aspirin a day. So I hope this video was informative for you. If it was, please like and subscribe and share with your friends. And don't forget to not to self prescribe. Always go for the uh, right doctor and get the right advice uh, for any medicine. So that was for today. Till next time, I wish you all stay safe and better.